uh, I don't know if you remember or not. I I was there in IPL for yeah. one season uh, in 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a very very interesting story. So I was with Pune Pune yeah. Warriors, okay, and uh, that that was leading the team. Yeah. So uh, I think our first match was at uh, at One Yeah. So we we had a uh, just day before of the game we had a, our training and all. So uh, and we were just when we just reached the hotel. So Dada stood up in the bus and said, "Okay, uh, if I uh, if I call you, so that means you are in the eleven. And if I don't call you, then that means you're not playing. So this is the way he used to announce uh, the eleven. <laughs> I find it I find it very interesting. So I I waited till one a.m. in the morning. The yeah. phone never rang, and and it never rang throughout the tournament. So I didn't got to play a single game. So it was unfortunate, but I I love the experience what I got from IPL. Yeah, I see IPL. That's the fun part about IPL. Uh, there are so many players who come from all parts of the world and they play together. Uh, suddenly, you know, uh, ten months of the year we are playing against each other, and then for those two months, yeah. we we play together. It's it's a different feeling and. Uh, all all the players you know get to learn so much from each other like if yeah. you are like for example if you are in my team i will get to learn so much about you and then it's vice versa you know so yeah. especially yeah. the younger players in india they get to learn a lot they get to learn a lot yeah. from uh, all these players so i am in a way very very happy with this uh, process of uh, you know uh, the younger players getting to know uh, how not just indian players but other players also from the world uh, uh, you know, plan uh, their career, how they plan to play uh, uh, in in a game. You know, it's very very important. And if they get to learn, so uh, in a way they get to learn. Uh, you know, it's good for Indian cricket. And you, we have seen in the future, in in the past, so many cricketers have come through uh, IPL uh, for us. Uh, so I think IPL in a way has done a lot, has wonders, has done wonders. Uh, to a lot of careers, actually. Yeah, so I was saying that we have our own franchise tournament, uh, which we call BPL. I, I'm not too sure if you had a chance of uh, watching few games. I no, we we I have watched it uh, on YouTube uh, the highlights because I don't know if they uh, uh, they used to telecast here on one of the channels uh, before. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't think if they 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 do it anymore. I'm not too sure, but I I watched the highlights on uh, uh, YouTube. Yeah, what I wanted to really talk talk to you about uh, uh, is, I think what what IPL does, you know, for, especially like you, you have been playing for Mumbai Indians for almost seven eight years, now. so you can build your own team and then uh, you can decide. Uh, you always keep your core group together. So I've been seeing Polar has been playing for last seven eight years. I think this is the thing we have been missing in BPL. I think every yeah. second year or the third year we have been changing teams. I think if we can somehow uh, manage to stay in one team for a, a number of years, and then we yeah. can do all those kind of things what Mumbai Indians are doing. Yeah, it's important. See, uh, you know, that's how you create the fan base also. Uh, true, true. And Bangladesh is a very, very passionate country about cricket. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen any country being so passionate about cricket uh, like like Bangladesh. Honestly speaking, so yeah. I think if you if you create that uh, excitement within the fans. Uh, with certain players staying in the certain uh, franchisee for so many years, the fan base will also increase, and you know the fans will look forward to going uh, and supporting their team in that uh, with that same passion. Like for example, True. if you play for uh, let's say I don't know which team you play, I think you play for uh, Dhaka. Kumil, uh, Dhaka. Last year I played for Dhaka, but uh, yeah, last yeah, year yeah, I was yeah, in Dhaka. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so let's say, for example, if you and few others, there, you guys are playing for Dhaka for so many years, and then, you know, BCB should try and uh, do something that the core players, like few players, yeah. two or three players, not more, but two or three players at least stay in that franchisee for, uh, for somehow, you know. Otherwise, yeah. the the excitement within the fans will disappear because if suddenly they are supporting this team this year and then they get to know okay you have gone to another team and then they have to start supporting the other team true so, true and this is what exactly fans, happened we have to exactly we when we play all this uh, when we play a sport uh, you know it's also uh, we need to remember that you know the fans are the ones who make this sport so interesting for the world 
and any sport you talk about it's not just cricket uh, it's any sport fans are yeah. so important to us and uh, if you if you don't look after them well yeah they are not going to look after you it's as simple as that yeah yeah it's exactly it's it's like you're playing for mumbai a year and then you're going back to chennai so even the fans will get confused on to support yeah i think you have to create that excitement which is why like you know uh, ipl has done that very well like few players uh, from uh, few franchise have managed to stay in that uh, franchise for for number of years so that you know the fan base uh, is is stagnant it's not uh, disappearing in that in that way